25 years. I can't believe it's been that long. Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome to our special anniversary video for the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. You see, it was 25 years ago on December the 5th, 1995, when I was lying in bed with a stomach bug in my parents' bedroom watching Cartoon Network, um, specifically the Flintstones, while my dad was at Best Buy purchasing something that would change my life forever. And it was this computer right here, the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. He brought it home. I would sneak in every now and then and watch him set it up, um, screwing the monitor, the monitor speakers up to the monitor. And I actually got to see him boot into Windows 95 for the first time. I remember seeing the uh, clip, just the plain green background with the hourglass. And I'm pretty sure I heard the Microsoft sound as well. And at that moment, I was just fascinated. And uh, two days later, my uh, dad informed me that, hey, um, you're welcome to use this computer anytime you want. And... So I got on there, started playing some games, which we will probably show in this video, and the rest, as they say, is history. For the next several years, this computer became my life. I've spent most of my time after school or on, on weekends playing games on here, playing games such as... Uh, 3D Ultra Pinball, Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, and of course the Incredible Machine. Among many others that I don't have uh, box copies of, <laughs> like Earthworm Jim, Putt Putt Joins the Prey, Goes to the Moon, the Gus games, countless uh, MS DOS games like Jill the Jungle, um, Sky Road's Christmas Special, and so many others. Now, the first computer I ever used was not this computer. It was my Aunt's Gateway 2000 uh, P5100XL, which I've talked about numerous times on this channel. I remember being introduced to it in the summer of 1995, not even knowing what a computer was, and I remember playing Mix Up Mother Goose on there, was running Windows 3.1, so that was the operating system I was familiar with. And so when this we got this computer running Windows 95, I wanted it to be more like my Ants Gateway 2000 because I love that computer so much. So I tried my best to convince my dad to downgrade it to Windows 3.1. Um, I, I remember even trying to convince him at Montgomery Ward at Carolina Circle Mall because they were selling a copy of Windows 3.1 there. And obviously he told me, no way we're doing that. And I'm glad um, he did that because it wasn't much longer I became quite in love with Windows 95. I still am to this day. And so let's just uh, use this video, just sit back and relax and just enjoy the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. And we'll start off with a little bit of Packard Bell Navigator. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from, Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. The uh, first com um, video I ever did about a uh, computer was a Packard Bell but it was the Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme, which I bought because it was the closest I could get to this computer in 2005. You see, this computer was eventually replaced in 1999 with an HP Pavilion running Windows uh, 98. And in 2000, we, uh, I, let my, I stupidly let my dad get rid of this computer, and he gave it away. And I've already checked. The guy doesn't have it anymore. It's long gone. And so, 
In 2005, when I first started getting into 90s nostalgia, that's I've gone through that story um, numerous times on the channel, I um, desperately wanted to be reunited with my childhood computer right here. And so, um, the closest I could find at the time on eBay was a Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme. I've done many videos about that computer as well. And that was um, my computer f for um, vintage um, Windows stuff for a very long time, but I still wanted to have this computer again. And so I spent so many years trying to track this computer down. No one had it. I could not find it anywhere. And eventually I did um, find a computer very similar to it, a Packerville Legend 3550, back in 2010. But unfortunately, after two months, the computer died on me. And that was a big heartbreaker. And so I continued my search for the next uh, uh, two or three years, I guess. And finally, someone um, in my Packard Bell Facebook group um, came across a Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT for sale on some vintage uh, computer forum. And so this is why I have very awesome friends. Um, they did not have to do this. They, everyone put their money together and bought it for me. And they had it sent to me in April of 2013, and I've had it ever since. And for the past uh, seven years, this computer has worked flawlessly. Not a single issue with it. Knock on wood. <laughs> and of course, I uh, this is one of the first things I brought over with me when I uh, moved out of my parents' house a couple of months ago. And it's been working great here in the apartment. But um, the reason I went on that whole story was um, when I did my first video about a computer, the Packer Bell Legend 1510 Supreme, um, I made numerous jokes about the uh, lesson on using the mouse when it comes up in Packer Bell Navigator. And after 12 years, I've completely run out of a uh, mouse lesson jokes. <laughs> Finally came few, um, full circle in 2012 when I did a video about me taking the lesson on using the mouse. And one of the first games I remember playing on here was uh, Ski Free. Which I also remember playing on my uh, Ant's Gateway 2000. In fact, my uh, older uh, half-brother remembers uh, playing this on the computer in high school. So many good memories of this. I've never been good at it though. Came with the Mac Microsoft Entertainment Pack. And so, um, of course, there is a certain point in this game where a nosy little friend of ours will appear. Come on, where are you? When we get to 1985 meters, that's the trick. We're not quite there yet. Our old friend will appear. Nineteen forty-four, nineteen seventy-two. Okay, there we go. There's the uh, ski-free snow monster. This thing scared the living daylights out of me when I was little when I first started playing this game. And I imagine for a lot of children at that time, it, it scared them too. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know, and here's Solitaire, of course. Believe it or not, I have never known how to play Solitaire. I can never figure it out. Um, I'm, I've just never been good at card games um, in general. And so, uh, there you have it. Okay, I thought it would be fun if we uh, played a couple of the games that I got when I first got this computer back in 1995. See, you see, the, the day after we got this computer, my dad went to Sam's Club back when they still sold uh, big box PC games. And he got these t two games right here, along with another one I don't have on camera right now. Um, 3, uh, 3D Ultra Pinball and Living Books, Berenstain Bears, Get in a Fight. And he also got... Um, Living Books, Just Grandma and Me, but I um, 
don't feel like playing that today. <laughs> so we'll start off with a uh, 3D Ultra Pinball. We'll uh, stick it in the CD drive. Yeah, I'm trying something a little bit new with this video. I'm trying to uh, get myself in the shot as well as the uh, computer screen. For some reason, I just feel like it makes the video a little bit cozier. But um, it may look like total garbage to you guys, so we will um, we will find out um, when this video goes live. That music never gets old. Phew, Sierra. full motion video. Let's play, uh, we'll do command post. Command post table up and running. Shoot back alley lanes to initiate bonus events. Good luck. I'm gonna play this on my aunt's computer as well. To this day, this is still my favorite pinball uh, computer game. I'll tell you the funny thing about this game is um, it's well known for the multiple sequels it had, but I've never played them. I've only ever played this uh, original one. I should probably give the others a try. I know there was Creep Night, and among others, there's like a, I think there was a dinosaur themed one too, I just can't remember the name of it. I think I've got it over here with my uh, other software. By the way, the number one song on the Billboard charts in the USA on December 5th, 1995 was One Sweet Day by uh, Mariah Carey and Boys to Men. Not one of my favorite songs, but hey, that I guess the um, day I got this computer was One Sweet Day, so I guess it is kind of appropriate. Okay, I had to do that eventually, I guess. It's such a fun game. It's so simple. The best games are the simple ones. Oh, and uh, by the way, the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT, there were models that did ship with Windows 3.1. Some of the uh, earlier models that came out in the summer. And of course, you would get a uh, coupon for a free upgrade to Windows 95 when it came out in August. But seeing that we got ours in December, that was um, not necessary. It came with Windows 95 already on it. And this particular one, it, um, it was built in September 
of 1995. So it presumably would have come with Windows 95 pre-installed as well. I have run Windows 3.1 on this before via a separate um, compact flash card. But um, right next to here, I don't, I don't think you can see it on camera, is the uh, Legend 406 CD, which is my dedicated Windows 3.1 machine. So running it on 3.1 on here is kind of redundant. So this is strictly a 95 box. I'm actually kind of having fun with this video. <laughs> Did something. And by the way, the desk, I, I've um, discussed this before, but the desk that's, uh, that this computer is on is the exact same model desk the original 822 was on. The original desk is long gone, but I found this at Value Village in Greensboro back in 2016. And I just had to get it for this computer to complete the uh, uh, time capsule, so I guess you could say. Did I break it? What is that thing? Oh, multi ball. Long. Uh, missed it. Aim for the back alley. Start next bonus loop. Choose your bonus. Please choose the menu options shown. I'm going to go with 10 million points. All right, last ball.
okay, that's probably game over, and it is. Type, type the name in. That lasted a bit longer than I expected. So good game there. Very good game. Next game, the Berenstain Bears get in a fight. And so we will uh, put this game in and we'll see. And we'll learn a little lesson on why you should always discipline your bears. And that's not the point of the game, but let's just say it is, okay? <laughs> So here we go. Classic screen right here. Excuse me. No, no. Sometimes I can't hold it in. The band say bears get in a fight. You know, what I've always wondered about the Berenstain Bears is Brother Bear was born before Sister Bear. They were not twins, and yet they still named him Brother Bear. That that's that doesn't make much sense, does it? <laughs> oh well. Come on. To be fair, he did start that. When two small bears don't get along, the grown-ups will want them gone. I blame the water supply. I don't know why, but let's just go with the water supply. <laughs> Stop mocking me! Inside the treehouse, Brother Bear and Sister Bear would wake up. <laughs> and yet, I know these games are for children, and it's silly for a 31-year-old man to be playing these by himself, but... You know, uh, these games hold a lot of nostalgia for me. And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with getting a good old burst of nostalgia. That's kind of what this channel is all about, anyway. So. Good morning, sister. Good morning, sister. Now this was my favorite part of this game growing up, and I don't know why. It used to make me laugh like crazy. Hey all your radio listeners out there, you're tuned to K-Bear Radio, and it's a beautiful morning here in Bear Country. Just something about the way that uh, disc jockey talked <laughs> amused me. Hey, I was still sleeping. <laughs> I love those stock sound effects that you hear in everything. 
Okay, we'll load one more game up, and this is a game that shipped with this computer that I remember playing when I first got it. It's um, the Kid Story games that shipped with um, Packer Bell computers, and you had your choice between um, Pirate Who Wouldn't Wash and Millie Fitzwillie's Mouse Catcher. I believe the first one I played was Millie Fitzwillie, so let's uh, load her up. Get ready for the most annoying voice you'll ever hear in your entire life. Hey! Hi there! Welcome to Storytime with our series of animated books. If you want the book read to you, you'll have to click on this picture. To play within the book, you'll have to click on this. And for all the surprises, click on this one. To move from page to page, click on these buttons. And when you're finished, click on this. It's easy, isn't it? Go on, you have a go. Click on a button. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention is, um, while this monitor does match this computer, it's not the original that model that would have shipped with it, that we had with this computer. This one has digital controls with LEDs, ours did not. I had one um, just like that up until recently. I, uh, when I uh, lent um, LGR the corner packer bell, I gave him that monitor. Well, go on. Click on the button with the lips to hear the story. I thank you not to interrupt me, young man. But anyway, um, I... Uh, lent him the monitor that would have uh, matched this computer but unbeknownst to me there were problems with it and so uh, we're going to have to junk that monitor so I'm going to have to find another monitor that matches but you know what this is still pretty close Millie Fitzwillie's Mouse Catcher written by Marsha Vaughn Illustrated by Roland Harvey with adaptations by Richard Tollock and Peter Dodds. few towns like that. Um, actually, I've only lived in two towns in my life, but I've been to a few towns like that, um, and I've heard of a few towns like that, and you know, this kind of reminds me of Detroit. <laughs> Willie's old house had brown mice squealing down the roof, mice scurrying up the pole, green mice nesting in the tower, and playing hide and squeak everywhere. 
You know, hide and squeak can get you arrested in certain states. <laughs> that is the most authentic scream I've ever heard in my entire life. Let's do it again. I love that. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Why have I heard that sound before? I guess we'll never know. And so that's about it for this video. Man, 25 years. This thing is a quarter of a century old. How many presidents has it seen? Too many to count, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I hope for another um, fantastic 25 years from this computer. This is the computer that I want my children to see whenever I have children, Lord willing. And um, I want them to see the Dell Dimension 2350 as well, but I think this one's a little bit more special. And I'm so glad to still have this um, in my collection. I would not mind another 822 at some point. I did have two at one point. I had a uh, 822 with a different motherboard, but um, due to financial problems, I had to sell it to uh, YouTube user Elmall3, good friend of mine. Um, I really miss that computer, but it is good to know that it is in uh, very good hands. Another 822 appeared on eBay this um, past summer, I believe, and it was purchased by another good friend of mine um, here on YouTube called Headset Guy. He did a couple of videos about it, so um, look up Headset Guy and um, you'll get to see his uh, Packer Bell Legend 822. And so. I guess it'll just about do it for this video. I believe um, this is our last video before Nostalgia Mall Christmas 2020. And so I hope you stay tuned for that. Until next time, this is Billy Kaur, signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.